artificial intelligence, AI. Amid all the wows over AI, there are some saying, wait. There is a revolution happening right now. Hello. Hi. AI has burst into our imagination, our culture, and our daily lives. Hello, I'm here. Hi. Artificial intelligence, or AI, has a long history, dating back to the 1950s at least. The point of AI is to create technologies that can eventually think and move about in the world more or less like we do. Most of the artificial intelligence we have invented so far is highly specialized. This is called artificial narrow intelligence. They can translate one language into another. Or they can play competitive chess or challenge us as the computer opponent in a video game. When an AI has a physical body and can move around in its environment, whether that be a factory or warehouse or hospital, that's called a smart robot. People who work in AI have long wanted to create smart robots with intelligent agents inside of them that can learn all sorts of things about our world and make meaning about it with minimal supervision. By make meaning, I mean identify patterns, make predictions, and perform tasks with minimal instructions. In computer science, this is called machine learning. Recent strides in machine learning, particularly in the branch of deep learning, involve training interconnected layers of artificial neurons to mimic the workings of the human brain. The ultimate goal is to create an artificial general intelligence capable of adapting to new situations. Identifying patterns in the world and making models that are useful to getting things done is something that computer scientists work on every day. But it's also something that pulls knowledge and techniques from all sorts of other disciplines. Artificial intelligence research owes debts to cognitive psychology, mathematics, biology, economics, education, even political science and philosophy. But giving artificial intelligence the ability to walk among us and interact with us like androids do in science fiction is going to be very difficult. While AI technologies are getting better at driving cars and automating factory work, the most optimistic timelines have not been achieved. Predictions that fully driverless cars and trucks would be common on streets, highways, and interstates by the early 2020s didn't happen. However, we are seeing more self-driving technology in human-controlled environments, such as sidewalk delivery robots, geo-fenced autonomous taxi services, and automatic trains that move coal. It turns out that the kinds of work people think is easy, or on the flip side, imagine is very hard, may be exactly the right stuff to automate with AI. Let's leave the physically demanding and hazardous work of digging our mines and harvesting our crops to smart machines. And let's also have them help us do the complex and mentally taxing work of financial fraud monitoring and medical scan diagnosis. If we're thinking about this in terms of job opportunities, the sweet spot for humans might be right smack in the middle. The future of work for humans is where artificial and natural intelligence, creativity, and compassion all come together, such as occupations like counseling, teaching, social work, nursing, peacemaking, and conservation. Basically, the helping professions. Even in the world of AI, if you're helping people or the natural world, you're going to be okay.